If you are new to YouTube and you're looking for some steps or some guidance on how to activate your channel, do a little bit of branding, configure some of the settings for optimization, you are in the right spot. I've put together four simple steps that I'm gonna walk you through right now in this video tutorial to get you from zero to ready to upload your first videos. So if that's of interest to you, stick around, let's get into it. Before we hit step one, let me just preface this by saying this is a very beginner, high level step-by-step -step on how to get your YouTube channel turned on. If you've already got a YouTube channel, awesome. You can skip ahead, look at the uh, chapter markers in the description below to find the chapters that are relevant to you. But for those of you out there who don't have a YouTube channel at all, and maybe you don't even have a Google account, I'm gonna walk you through those right now. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up a browser and navigate to google.com. From here, click on sign in on the top right, and then you're gonna create a brand new Google account. Now, if you already have a Gmail account, that's perfect. You can sign in and then you can skip ahead to the chapter where I talk about setting up your YouTube channel. But for those of you who don't, you're gonna click create account right down here, and then you're gonna get prompted with an option for personal or for business. If you're more of a hobbyist and you're just doing this on your own, feel free to pick personal. But if you intend to make a business out of it and you eventually want to bring others into managing the channel as well, you may want to consider business. So we're going to click on business. And then the next screen is going to prompt you to use either a professional domain that you may already have for your business, or if you want to just use a brand new regular at gmail.com email address. So for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to do get a Gmail address, and then it's going to ask us for all of our personal information. So we'll just put that in here and we'll keep proceeding. Now this screen here, choose your Gmail address. You have the option of trying to put in whatever email address you want. If it's already taken, it won't let you proceed. Otherwise you can just pick one of the recommended options that Google is giving you. For the purposes, again, of this tutorial, I'm just going to pick one of the ones that they've given us. So I'm going to pick that top one, TYM, with a bunch of numbers at the end and click Next. Now it's going to ask us to generate a password. So let's go ahead and do that. And then it's going to want to do some two-factor authentication. So it's going to ask you for your phone number, which I will put in right here. And then it's going to text you a verification code that you can then punch in. Okay, the next step is to include a recovery email address. I'm gonna skip this for now. And then there it is. There is our email address, our brand new Gmail account that we're gonna to use to sign into Google. Now, once you get done with the privacy and terms, you can scroll all, all the way to the bottom and click through I agree and confirm. And on the next screen, it's gonna say your Google account is ready. Now let's set up your business. To save some time, I'm gonna skip this step. We can always come back to it. So I'm gonna click on not now. And now we're officially signed in and you can see that here on the top right, you'll see it as my name and my brand new email address. From here, we can click on this icon over here that's gonna give us a bunch of options for all the different Google apps. We'll click on YouTube. And now it's gonna bring us into YouTube. It's gonna sign us in automatically. So we are officially signed into YouTube, but the next step, step number two, is to create our channel. So once you click on your name on the top right, you're gonna click Create Channel. And here is where you can name it. Your handle is effectively what your channel name will be. And you can change this. But what you wanna do is maybe test out a few different names to make sure the name that you like is available. So we're gonna go with Random Cupcake Lover and then we'll hit create channel. Okay, so our channel is officially created. We are now a random cupcake lover channel. So step three is to work on some of the branding. So we're gonna work on that now. You'll notice that my channel is very boring. We're gonna fix that by adding a profile picture, a customized banner, and we're also gonna add a little bit of a description as well so that when people click on our channel, they know exactly what to expect. So the first thing we can do is click on Customize Channel. It's gonna bring you into your YouTube studio. You're gonna get all kinds of pop-ups and welcomes. 
and then you're going to come over to branding. So there's three things in here that we can set up. The first is going to be your profile picture and each has an upload option. So we're going to just, I'll show you what this looks like. I'm going to use the profile picture, the banner and the watermark that I use for my main channel. And I'm just going to show you what those steps look like so that if you have a profile picture or banner ready to go for yourself, you know exactly how to get it on here. So I'm just going to click on upload and then we're going to look for my brand assets and we're just going to pick this is the logo I use for my own channel. Now we're going to do the same thing with banner. And what's cool about this is it shows you what it'll look like on all the various mediums that people will be looking at your channel from. So it's a smartphone on a TV or viewing it from a desktop. And the final thing is your watermark. This you can also create a custom image for, or you can just use your default profile picture, which is what I'm going to do. And the watermark is cool because it'll pop up either for the entire video on the bottom right, you can kind of see it in this image here, or at a custom time that you pick, or at the end, and it'll be a custom subscribe button that if they press on, it's going to automatically subscribe to the channel. So now that we've got all three of these in here, we're going to go over to basic info. You can see your name, you can see your handle, and then here's where you're going to type out a description. So tell your viewers a little bit about what your channel is going to be about in this case, because we are a random cupcake lover. So let's just go with this channel is dedicated to reviewing all the best cupcakes from all around the world. Now, as you scroll down, you can add some links for your different social platforms, and you can even include a contact email address. Um, should you want people to be able to get a hold of you. So we've done a little bit of branding. We've added a little bit of a description. At this point, we're ready to publish. And that's going to save all of those changes. And then when you refresh your channel, you'll be able to see that all of those changes took effect. And there we have it. We've got our profile picture, our banner, and our description. Okay, and that brings us to step four. And step four is all about fine tuning and customizing your YouTube settings. So once we go back into customize channel, you're gonna notice on the left side here, there's a lot of different options. Just beneath that is the settings option. So among the first settings you're gonna to wanna to enable is under channel and then feature eligibility. You'll notice that intermediate features is eligible, but not enabled. So this is important because this will let you upload videos over 15 minutes. It'll let you add custom thumbnails and do live streaming. So we're going to click verify phone number in order to enable that. We'll have it send us a text message and then we'll input our six digit code. All right. Now that we're verified, we can refresh. And we'll go back and just double check to make sure we're enabled and it looks like we are, we're ready to go. You can also input your country. And here's where you can add different keywords for your channel. So if someone is doing a search in Google on a particular topic, say, for example, they want to learn about cupcakes, how to bake them, you can do cupcake baking, cupcakes. And then you can just put in any other related cupcake keyword that you think people will search for. And you have up to 500 characters for that. So we'll go ahead and save that as well. Another tip to consider maybe a little bit later, once you have a few videos up is under settings and then under user defaults, you can do a generic description that you can then import for all of your future videos. This way you don't have to type it out every single time or copy and paste it from another source. So for example, if you want to include all your social media links, if you want to include all your affiliate links, you can put them all in here and then use this user default as a way of importing them into all of your future videos. And then one more tip under advanced settings is you'll notice that allow automatic chapters and key moments is turned on by default. This is YouTube's way of trying to index different chapters of your video that should appear in search. Now it doesn't always capture the chapter markers correctly. So my recommendation would be to uncheck this and then in your description, create your own chapter markers for your video with the correct timestamp that you want to use to identify when specific chapters should start. 
Okay, so that'll do it. Those are the four steps to getting your YouTube channel officially started and off the ground. Now, if you haven't quite recorded your first video yet and there are things that are holding you back, make sure to take a look at this video so you can see how I made recording my first video suck less. See you in the next one.